This is question number 35 of the 2013 KCPE maths paper. It says, the cash price of a cupboard is 3,000 shillings. An interest of 25% is charged if the cupboard is bought on higher purchase terms. Amina bought the cupboard on higher purchase terms. She paid a deposit and 12 equal instalments. Each instalment was 262 shillings and 50 cents. How much deposit did she pay? So we're told that Amina pays an amount which is equal to the cost of the, the cost of the deposit, in fact let's call that small d, d plus the cost twelve equal instalments. So she pays um twelve instalments. So let's say the value of one instalment, which we, we know is two hundred and sixty two uh shillings and fifty cents is I, so the total of 12 instalment we'll call 12i and this is the total let's call that t that she pays and what we want to do we want to find out is how much a uh, deposit she paid we know that amina bought the cupboard uh, on higher purchase terms so she pays um that means that she pays 25 percent more than she would if she bought it um just using cash. Uh, so that means that the total she pays, um, so the total value of t is 3000 times by 1.25 since she's paying 25% uh, more than she would if she bought um, it at cash price. So let's calculate the value of t. So 0 times by 5 is 0. 0 times by 5 is 0, 0 times by 5 is 0, 3 times by 5 is 15, 0 times by 2 is 0, 0 times by 2 is 0, 0 times by 2 is 0, 2 times by 3 is 6, and 1 times by 3,000 is 3,000. Let's add these, and we need to remember to move the answer um, two decimal places to the left. So 0, 0, 0, 5, 7, 3. And then 1, 2. Right, so we get um, a value of t to be 3,750. So let's write that down. So 3,750 is equal to d plus 12i. We know that i is 262 and 50 cents times 12 by 262.5 to get the total value of 12i. So 26250 times by 12. So we have 0 times by 2 is 0. 2 times by 5 is 10. So that's 0, carry a 1. 2 times by 2 is 4. We add this 1 that we carried previously. That's 5. 2 times by 6 is 12. 2 carry a 1. 2 times by 2 is 4. We add the 1 that we carried previously. We get a 5. Um, and then 1 times by 0 is 0. 1 times by 5 is 5. 1 times by 2 is 2. 1 times by 6 is 6. 1 times by 2 is 2. Let's add this. We get 0. 0, 5 plus 5 is 10, 0 carry a 1, 2 plus 2 plus 1 is 5, 5 plus 6 is 11, 1 carry a 1, 1 plus 2 is 3. And then remember to move, since we have two decimal places moved here in um, one of the values that we're multiplying, we move this answer two decimal places to the left, so 1, 2, so we get 3, 1150 to be 12 I. So we have 3750 is equal to D plus 3150. Our next step is to make sure that we have D on its own, so D isolated on one side. So we can, so what we do is we subtract each side by 3150. So we get D is equal to 3,750 minus 3,150. 
and 3,750 subtract 3,150 is 600. So D is equal to 600 shillings. So the answer to this question is C, 600 shillings.